Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be going over how to customize the text that you would want to use in Canva. So Canva does give you some uh, different style text that you can use. I have a design open up right here. And um, so with this text, you only have a few other options on here from what I've seen within Canva. Uh, Canva is a great way to just quickly make some graphics for your photo booth templates or other business needs. Uh, but sometimes you want to add a little bit more to these uh, these graphics here, especially the text. You know, there's going to be some like gold text, silver text, uh, just different types of gradient text. And um, another website that I like to use is called FreePick. So I've mentioned FreePick before in the past in another video. And um, what I like about it is that if you pay for the pro version, you get a whole bunch of uh, different options that you can choose from within FreePick. And they have a a bunch of different illustrations, vectors, uh, but today we're going to be looking at the text effects. So the text effects, if you click on that, uh, you want to get the PSD file. And I'm going to show you how to customize this uh, PSD file if you don't have Photoshop. That's what a PSD file is. So let's go ahead and choose a, uh, a type of effect that we're going to use. And let's say we want to use this golden one. So you can see here in Canva, they don't really have uh, a really nice uh, gold font or style. So let's go ahead and download this one. And then with your downloads open, double click on the folder and then this PSD file, we're going to take this to uh, this other website it's called PhotoP. So PhotoP is a very similar uh, web app that's that's exactly like Photoshop. Uh, they have it set up exactly the same in a lot of ways, and it's free. So I highly recommend to get familiar with PhotoP because that'll help you create other things and add them to your Canva designs. So if I open from computer, I'll go to downloads, PSD, all right, now we're inside PhotoP. You can see your different layers here on the right side. Um, you have your text effects here, and you have your text. So they're all going to be a little bit different. You just have to open them up to see what's inside of them. So they do label them. So I was going to open up this other one. Okay, so this is just applying the actual text. So if you want to change this text, it's telling you to change text here. So we'll go ahead and double click on this uh, box here. All right, so let's go ahead and customize this font here. And what I'm going to do is make sure I'm on the text tool. And then we're going to go to highlight the actual font or the text. So now we can type in anything that we would like to put, congrats. And you'll notice that the font changed, and that's because we don't have the same exact font uh, loaded into PhotoP. So Calling Stone is the font that was used for this uh, file. You can definitely copy that name, put it in Google, and search for the font. Very easy to find uh, if you want to use that same style. but they have a bunch of different ones here. If you do find that one, you can just go to load font here, and then you just uh, add the either the OTF, I think sometimes they'll give you OTF, or some other uh, font file type. But you can choose from here, and they have pretty much a good range of selection. So for the video, I'm going to just stick to this one. I'll hit the check mark. And then uh, you can change the size in here. So if you want to make that smaller. And then what we'll do now, since I'm on a MacBook, I'm going to press Command S to save it. All right, so the smart object was saved. And now if you go back to the original layer, so this is the one that we're on, go back to here.
All right, so you can see that the effect was applied to the new text. And then, so if you change the font style, uh, it'll change the look of this, this uh, effect that's going on. And yeah, so from here then, what you can do is take the background and you can hide that. You can hide the other text that was showing on the top here. And then just delete anything else that you don't want to be shown on here. Um, sometimes you'll have these things here and that's gonna be uh, just some other types of graphics behind it. So I believe that's this one, light. So that gets rid of that part. And then from here, since you just want to take the actual style of this right here, what I'm going to do is go to export uh, PNG. So we've hidden every, every other layer, so it's not going to show in the PNG file. So if I hit save, and then I go to my downloads, you can see here that file is here, and I press the spacebar on a MacBook, and then you can see that it is transparent. Notice the blue there. So that's a true transparent PNG. Uh, so from here, so now uh, we'll go to this design. Let me move this over. And then we can just drag and drop. that graphic onto your Canva design. All right, and that's pretty much it. So now from here, you can just go ahead and drag this design. This is a design, it's not a text file no more, so you can't customize it from here. So make sure all the changes that you would like to have on the text that you wanna to apply to your Canva project is all done within PhotoP. So you can go back to PhotoP make the changes to the text if you need to, and then save it, export it as a PNG, and then reapply it. So from here, you can just resize and place it where you need, where it needs to be. Hope you guys found that video helpful, and leave, let me know in the comments if you like these type of uh, tips. I can go more into FreePick and show you other things that they have to offer as well. I'll see you guys in the next video.